Welcome to On the Pitch, another week of high school soccer to break down on WOSN. I'm Matt Finkel. We're going to be joined by the Lima Senior Boys team shortly, but first, let's take a look around the area and catch you up on some highlights. Bluffton making the trip south to take on Salina on Saturday. No score in the first half. Philip Tartikoff plays one into the box for Tristan Smucker. He deflects, but Braden Kahn makes the stop. Pirates still attacking. Eli Brurasa fires a shot, but it sails high over the cage and out for a goal kick. Other end of the field now. Nice ball forward by Austin Hines. Brennan Piper runs it down, makes the run behind the defense, and puts it in the back of the net. Salina leads 1-0 on the goal from Piper. And the home team looking for more. Peyton Smalley lofts one on. Tucker Routson heads it back to the keeper, and Levi Smith makes the play. Pirates back on offense now. Cole Harlow trying to create some space. Gets away a shot with the left, but Khan makes the stop. Salina got the early one. They added another one, and they get the victory 2 to nothing. Wapak and Bath on the girls' side. Big one in the Western Buckeye League. Scoreless in the second half. Bats Lake and Ambrister taking the corner kick. Kelsey Wallace can't come up with it, but it scoots away. Then Ambrister streaking down the field wide open. Katie Manger comes out to make the save. Ambrister still attacking. Another shot on goal, this time off the defender's shoulder. Both teams trying to break through first. Kennedy Fagan high with that shot. Nobody would get a goal in this one. It ends in a nil-nil draw, so both teams still undefeated in league play, but they each add a tie. Finally, new scoreboard at Spartan Stadium. It was dedicated on Friday, but on Thursday, Lima Senior hosted Van Wert on the pitch. No score in the first half. Spartans on a run. Colton Fry to the middle. Can't connect with a teammate, and Jordan Fetzer scoops it up. Other end now, Van Wert's Colton Smith gets behind the defense, but Josiah Shoemaker is there for the stop. Later, another chance for Fry. Sends it on goal, but Fetzer in front of it on the knee. Still scoreless. Spartans fire, firing away again. A long rope, but another save for Fetzer. Lima Senior would break through. They get two and win behind a shutout for Josiah Shoemaker, which leads us to our player of the week, and it is the Spartans goalie Josiah Shoemaker, recording three straight strutouts in the last three games, including that win over Van Wert on Thursday. He also shut out Clay and LCC to help Lima Senior string together three straight victories. So congrats to Josiah. And speaking of the Lima Senior Spartans, we are joined by them in studio right now. It is Adrian Jones on my left, junior left back, left wing, Coach Mitch Montfort in the middle, and Colton Fry, sophomore attacking mid on the end. Thank you guys for joining us. Adrian, we'll start with you. The team's playing really well right now, three straight wins. What do you think has been the key to, to get this little winning streak together? Uh, I believe communication is a lot what affected our game, and our passing is really good. Honestly, I think we're doing really good communicating with each other and getting them switches and I think that's really what contributes to our win. You guys must be getting into a groove now, middle of the season. and Young team, right, but coming together pretty well, Coach? Yes, sir. Uh, young team, a lot of talent on this team. Um, high expectations at the beginning of the year from the coaching staff. Um, we kind of figured some things out about halfway through the first half of the season, so we've been very pleased uh, with our last four games. Colton, you were laughing at your couple shots there. Was that not your best effort? I, that game no. started an hour and a half late, like we talked about. Did that affect you guys, you think? I mean, you still got the win. Nah. Uh, it was just... It was just the same? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think has been the key to the turnaround for the team? Uh, not even a turnaround, just uh, playing really well at this point. Um, our coaches always say one, we're one heartbeat, 11 captains on the field. So I think that's really motivated us to, you know keep that going and just communication like Adrian said. Adrian, did you guys do anything differently in the preseason this year or was it pretty much business as usual? I think it was business as usual because I think we've just been playing good the whole year. We just need to keep working at it and keep working in practice. Yeah, a lot of shutouts. Six shutouts, coach. What, what does that say <laughs> about your defense and your goal? Josiah. Our defense has been fantastic this year, uh, limiting our uh, opponents' chances for us. Um, and when they do break through, Josiah has been uh, fantastic on making those saves. Uh, we initially started off with a more uh, defensive-minded uh, shape, um, ended up with three ties out of the first four games, and uh, we decided it was enough. We're going to have to get a little bit more aggressive. And once that's happened, uh, we're starting to find the back of the net a little bit more, but our defense has still been consistent for us. Colton, what's been the highlight? of the season for you so far? Uh, 
it's hard to say. Probably the uh, win against LCC. That was a big win for us. Yeah, 5 nothing victory against the rivals. That must have been fun. And you're a sophomore. You, you played on the varsity last year. Yeah. What's different about sophomore year? Do you feel a little more comfortable? or? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Just getting the experience as a freshman must have been, <laughs> yeah. must have been helpful, right? Yeah. yeah. And Adrian, upcoming games, it's not getting any easier to keep this winning streak going. You've got Finley. Finley's look good in the track. You guys were saying you're, you know you're tied for third. So what do you have to do to beat the Trojans? Oh, we just got to communicate well, like I said earlier. And we just got to keep motivated, keep our heads up, because we need to get this win on Tuesday. And I believe our team can do it. It's a game you'll be able to see on WOSN Wednesday. We'll be rebroadcasting that one. Looking forward to it. Coach, what do you think the key is for, for this team going forward? What do you need to improve upon to, to make a postseason run? These next three games are critical for us. Uh, we run into Finley right away, and then we have uh, Elida and then St. Francis, and we really have to work on our structure uh, defensively with these teams because all three of them uh, have great uh, offenses, and we need to work on our counterattack, and I think that's what we're focusing on early part of this week into uh, getting ready for Elida. So. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck. Like I said, we'll be there. Colton, you're going to come back and juggle against me <laughs> later in the show, so you're not off the hook yet. <laughs> but thanks again for joining us. Best of luck. We need to take a break here on On the Pitch, but when we return, we'll be joined by a couple more Spartan players. Welcome back to On the Pitch. We've got a couple more Spartans joining me up here on the stage along with coach. It's Austin Anderson on my left, junior right back, and Cameron Harris-Johnson on the end, sophomore left midfielder. And Austin, we were just talking to the other guys about how the season's gone and you're in a good stretch right now. But back in the beginning of the season, coach mentioned you had three ties in a row. Was that frustrating for you to not get the result of the win? Uh, not really, because we got those, or we still came out with points with them. It was just more frustrating that we didn't come out with the goals that we wanted. I mean, our defense was solid. We didn't let anything in except for the Temple game. Yeah, Coach, so that, it's all about their attitude then, right? So they decided, you know, instead of focusing on not getting the win, we got the tie, we got them shut out, and then now the goals are starting to come in. What does that say about this group to, and maybe your leadership? Uh, we're growing as a team for sure this year. I feel like the kids are able to push through the adversity that we might have struggled with in the past. Um, whether it's not scoring goals or we might be outshot one night and they're able to come back the next day ready, eager to get better each game. Cameron, who's Lima Senior's biggest rival soccer-wise on the soccer field? Probably LCC, I would say, because <laughs> okay. we, we were pretty, pretty amped when we beat them. And yeah. uh, the energy in the locker room was pretty, like, we got to beat them. Absolutely. Austin, what did that win do, do for your confidence in the, in the group? Oh, it boosted it a hundred times. Like, it felt great to come out there and have like our highest scoring game against them. Uh, it's been a couple years since we've beaten them, so coming out there and winning was just a boost to our confidence. Yeah, it must have been. Coach, what do you think this team's biggest strength is right now? Well, for sure it's uh, defense, no doubt. Um, yeah. And their ability to, um, you know, cover for each other on the defensive half of the field. We're doing a really good job. Um, picking up somebody's position if they made a run or if uh, they were out of position or they got beat. Um, and I think that's why our goals are not getting scored on us. Our D mids have been fantastic in rotating over uh, and applying that ball pressure before the team can uh, execute the pass or uh, runs they're looking for. So. Yeah, and it showed on the field. Cameron, for you, also sophomore, like Colton, did you play at all last year as a freshman? No, I wasn't even on the team. Um, some guys that was on the uh, soccer team said, you know, you should come out and try. And I did, and I liked it, so. They recruited you. That's good. They love me. Yeah, that's cool. I, I like that. That's a nice story. I like to hear that. Austin, upcoming games. We got the Finley, and then home for Elida, and then a couple more in the track as well. Which one are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to Finley. I think we're going to come out there very strong against them. Elida's going to be another tough one for them, with them having such a strong defense. I haven't talked to a couple of their players, and they've been, they said, we have a strong defense. You guys yeah. are going to have a tough time with us. <laughs> I think we'll have a good time. Yeah, they, they're <laughs> talking a little smack. That's great. Yeah. But you guys know each other well. That's pretty oh, yeah. cool. That, you know, so close within, within Lima and Elida. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Coach, what does it mean to you to play in the track? And it's very competitive, and a lot of teams are ranked. And you know, you guys are you guys are competing though. That's that must be fun. Oh, the track is fantastic. Uh, the competition is uh, next level. Uh, really big D1 schools, a lot of talent. Um, you know, they some of those teams have 80 kids in their program with four teams. Uh, a freshman to two JV and the varsity team, so it's hard to compete with those teams. Um, but I feel like we're get, we're putting our best product out there, and our kids are, you know, fighting on the field and off the field to get better um, each day. And uh, it's great to be in the track. Cameron, what would you say the goals are for for this year's team? Where do you see your guys in about what did I say five or six weeks? We start the postseason, maybe. Um, ranked high, you know. I think we're an amazing team. We got a lot of talent, but. I think we'll be ranked high. Yeah, Austin, what, what would it mean to you to, to make a deep postseason run, run with this group? It would mean the world to me. Like, this team is my family, and I put so much time into it, and everybody just comes out there with the greatest of attitudes when we're on the pitch. We love each other like we're brothers. Yeah, that's great to see. Coach, what does that mean for, for you to see that camaraderie? And, and, you know, high school sports is... It's competitive, of course, but it's also about the activity and the, and the bonding. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, uh, winning games and, you know, having a great record is fantastic and all, but uh, helping these young men grow up and uh, make, you know, friends with each other and, you know, help them become men uh, is something I, I really take pride in and uh, showing them, you know, how things are supposed to be done. And uh, the, the soccer is great and everything like that, but building the kids up and, and working together as a team is a lot more important than wins. Well, I think you're doing a great job, as are the guys, as they, they passed the interview test. They did great. <laughs> and best of luck again. We're looking forward to bringing you that game next week on WOSN with Lima Senior hosting Finley. But before we go, we've got to end the show the same way we always do. We've got to bring Colton back on to juggle against me. I'll go first. Colton, come on up, man. I'll move this table out of here, and I'm going to go and see how many I can get. Ready? Oh, gee, that was bad. Two? <laughs> Two. Two's, no my pressure, worst. Colton. Two's my worst, Colton. So I hope you got me. Here you go. Come right up in here. <laughs> in his vans. In his vans, no doubt. All right. All left. Nice. Hey, hey, I kind of hey. like eight or nine there. <laughs> nice work. Good job, Colton. And of course, Colton beats me too is a really poor showing for me. So <laughs> thanks again for coming out, guys, and best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks, Colton. You can, you can mosey on off. That's going to do it for On the Pitch. We'll see you next week. Thank you.